many Americans are asking how they can help the people of Ukraine right now, and Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur, she has an answer to that question. Madeline Watkins breaks down what the co-chair of the Ukrainian caucus is saying about the conflict. We're here today to discuss liberty. Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur says people have been coming up to her asking how they can help the people of Ukraine. She voted for her own independence and has been laboring to become free with continued Russian meddling in her country all these decades. She says when you don't have boundaries that are respected, it becomes a free for all, making it dangerous for everyone involved. More than one and a half million people have made it out of Ukraine, the largest wave of refugees in Europe since World War II. The Congresswoman says one of the most important things that we can do here in the States is give moral support to those fleeing and the countries taking them in. We have much to give the world and our people want to, but we have to be very judicious in the way we do it and we make sure that every penny counts uh, in terms of where people donate their funds. Congresswoman Kaptur recommends going to the Department of State's website to see which organizations are already working on the grounds of Ukraine and donate directly to them or save the money in your pocket for recovery efforts. Congress could act this week to approve $10 billion in humanitarian and military aid for Ukraine. But we have to reach a point where the killing of innocent people, babies, mothers, people who, these older people that you see fleeing, you know. Reporting in downtown Toledo. It's so brutal. It's so bestial. The free world just can't stand and do nothing. Madeline Watkins, WTOL 11.